testing. Awesome! There we go. Now I actually have voices. Um, so yeah, uh, I saw this game. It looked neat. I wanted to give it a try. I haven't seen um, much of it. Uh, it's free on Steam. It's called... What's it called? Something Nova. Put my fidget toy away. Y'all don't need to hear the clacking. As far as I remember, I always wanted to see what it's like off-world. I come from a place where very few get a chance to escape. So when they came to me, I didn't even blink and just signed to be a candidate. Felt good to leave all I know behind, all this trouble, knowing I'd be left alone for a very long time. Okay. Demo. It's first mission. Let's try it out. I didn't see if there was an options thing, unfortunately. Uh, alright. Options! Flight commands! Controller! Is there a... Camera views, there we go. There we go. Uh, doesn't look like there's a save thing. Track IR would be nice. Ooh, how do I how do I do first person? I'm definitely gonna wanna do first person. <coughs> Next camera's Y. Cool. There we go. Engine mode. Vital cruise. Okay. Roll. Cool. Right shoulders, yeah, cool. Oh, next camera. Oh, that's why I'm. Oh, do I just land? Do I'm not trying to go to the city. I feel like I was supposed. To... Oh, it's just as land on the surface. Okay. There's a way I can see down. I've got a little bit of a camera there. Okay, let's slow our vertical speed or our horizontal speed. meters left. There we go. First landing. Cool. Just kind of clunked. I didn't see any uh, landing gear or landing gear extraction or extension retraction. All right. Second mission.
Outpost 152. So they've got landing gear. Alright. Deliver my cargo. Okay. Orbital objects detected. Where do I deliver the cargo to? Oh. We'll be over there. Okay. There we go. It's hard to get the, the throttle just right on this controller. And we're burning through our hydrogen fast. Although we are going Mach 2. <laughs> In pretty dense atmosphere too. This, yeah. That, that makes sense. All right. Yeah, that was a that was severe deceleration then, just there. No, nope. let's not let's not break the break the sound barrier just yet. See how well I can do it landing this thing VTOL mode. That's basically nullified my uh, vertical or my horizontal speed. I do need to go back a little bit. A uh, little bit of a scraping. How do I, uh, how do I deliver my cargo? Well, let's, uh, let's not roll too much. Oh, there's a landing pad over there. That makes sense. Alright. Let's, uh, sort of head over in that general direction.
I think I overshot it just a titch. Oof. 16? I don't know what that 16 meant. Hopefully not how much health I have left. Alright. Let's kind of hop over this way. Oh, there's the thing. There we go! Deliver the cargo! Bam! Third time's the charm! <laughs> Sweet. It only took me, uh... What was that? 30... 33%? And a couple, uh... Whole damage spots. Deliver! Oh, hello, UFO. Okay. Surface run stage one. Does that mean there's a stage two of surface run? No. Orbital mine. All right, reach platform two and dock. Stay inside the yellow marks on the platform. To trigger the docking capture, you'll need your ship perfectly still and in constant contact with the pad using RCS. So hopefully I get a uh, translation. Reach platform two and dock, but I'm out of fuel. Oh, but I have RCS stuff, okay. Undock. Okay, left stick Y is RCS pitch. Yep. RCS roll. Yep. I know about those. Kill rotation. X. Awesome. It's pretty good. Yes, how do I translate though? That's the... Uh, RCS4 is A. Okay, there we go. RCS backward is left trigger. Makes sense. Ooh, there we go. Awesome. Okay. Got the prograde and the anti prograde, good. Oh. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way actually. I want to go. I want to go this way. Oh. I wish there was a way to see the, uh... Alright, we've got stable orbit. Relative velocity, 8.5. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, slow down just a tad. I like that the uh, we're actually orbiting. Like that's not a stationary skybox. Like we're actually at orbital speed.
Okay. Let's get that aligned properly. Let's face the right direction. Well, too far. It's actually going to be easier than the uh, vertical VTOL landing on the uh, other thing. Because I can... I don't necessarily have to be directly aligned. I can just kind of settle the thing straight on. There we go. Dock port. How do I dock? Oh, there we go. That's how you dock. You just hold. <laughs> Sweet! Alright, next one. That was fun. I like the space stuff a lot. Let's do a hot re-entry. Reach the planet surface, check your fuel before undocking, land anywhere on the planet in one piece. Check your fuel. Alright, we're full fuel. Reach planet surface. I can't refuel. Cool. Undock. Hey, it's Russian! Alright, pulling away from the, uh platform here. Let's uh, let's see about getting our... Is there a way to change the information? <coughs> Ring menu is B. Aha! Dress lock is actually going to be extremely useful. Alright. Let's pull forward a little bit. Let's get away from our... Oh. That's not pulling forward, you silly billy. Whoa! Right. I turned thrust lock on. That's what that does. Okay. Alright. We want to be in a not stable orbit. Looks like that's my... Uh, that's my retrograde vector there. So let's point in that direction. I don't actually know how much uh, how much heat this thing can take on a uh, on reentry. So let's just uh, let's just do a nice, decent little. Uh, Try that. Nope. Other way. That's what I wanted to do. Anti local. Anti local. Which means that this is anti-global, which is what I want. Cool. All right. St thrust lock is going to be useful for the uh, for cruise stuff. And now we wait. You can see over there on the right. That's the uh, the orbital indication. We 
is a cool looking ship though. Is there like a time compression thing or do I just sit here and enjoy the view? I think I just sit here and enjoy the view. This is a uh, pretty heavy planet uh, based on the gravity. Yeah, 9.49. Uh, um, if that's meters per second or G's. Oh, that's got to be meters per second or Newtons. Yeah, 9.49, so it's just slightly less than 1G, which we're up at altitude, so uh, that makes sense. This is probably an Earth sized planet. You can see our altitude starting to drop already. A little bit. Might take a little bit before we can... Uh... In fact, let's uh, prepare. I want to go up to... Uh... What? I don't get a... I don't get a proper alt... Attitude indicator? Where's my attitude indicator, game? Go up to like there. Oh, we have an angle of attack indicator. Okay. That will be increasing as we uh, as we descend. So I've got the thermal tiling, but I don't have, like, a lot? It looks like a lot of the ship <coughs> is not actually protected from the thermal uh, stresses. And it kind of looks like it's intended to be sort of flown more nose-on rather than the belly flop. Hundred and sixty kilometers. I don't actually know where the uh Okay, that's what that does. How do I options? Cameras And flight commands, you have radar range. Undock his left shoulder, okay. And then it's just actual controls. Engine mode, X, yeah. Cool. Hopefully I don't pass into the nighttime side of the planet. No, okay, we're... I mean, we might. I'm not actually sure. I don't think we will. Ah, oh, nice, there's a landing cam. That could be extremely useful for, you know, a landing. <laughs> Push the buttons. Oh, nope. Mouse does not. Mouse does not do what I thought. I want to push these buttons. I want the to poke the MFDs and change displays. I already really like this thing. Right, let's reorient. There we go. Do I have a compass heading? Oh uh, no. I also wish I could like zoom in. I 
Alright, we're down to 134 kilometers. I don't see radar range. Pressing back, nothing's happening. Just waiting to catch the uh, catch the atmosphere. This might be too steep an angle of attack, honestly. Oh, we're starting to get something. Yeah, we have an air density meter now. All right, let's. Uh, Pop it up to 36 degrees. Got a bit of an air density, so what is that? 120 kilometers-ish? Yeah, you can see my nose is already starting to try to come down. Alright, let's hold that up at about 35. See if that does a good... It does okay. Actually, bump it up to 40. Kind of see some wisps of atmosphere now. Alright. We're getting thicker now. It's definitely starting to get into the atmosphere. Hopefully. Hopefully this isn't too thick of a or too steep an angle of attack. Hundred kilometers. I don't see our speed decreasing all that much. Our eccentricity is increasing, so we are slowing down. Uh, whether or not we'll be slowing down en fast enough. Our vertical speed is still increasing. That's kind of staying the same, actually. That's a good sign. I. That's a good sign. I wonder if we can uh, pop it up to like 45 degrees, maybe. Yeah, we're still around 100 or 350 meters per second. All right. Nothing. Uh, nothing too severe yet. Yeah, it can decrease my vertical speed, which is nice. Oh, that's the radar range. Long range, short range, long range. Cool. Alright. Let's try to hold around 300 meters per second down. And it's going to take a... It's going to take a steep... Uh, Man, I have to freaking pancake this to keep 300 meters per second. Full on 90 degrees now. Basically. Actually pancaking. Oh. Great. I can't kill rotation anymore. Okay, well, I guess if we do a little bit of a bounce off the atmosphere, that should be fine. And we are absolutely going to do a little bit of a bounce off the atmosphere. I wish that wasn't in kilometers per hour. I like meters per second a lot better for uh, anything orbital. Oh, hold temp is actually decreasing. Okay. Let's pull that way. Let's let our uh, let our vertical speed come back down. We're not going to be slowing down nearly as much anymore because we're head on directly into the uh, into the wind now, so we don't have as much drag. Okay, that's cool looking. That is cool looking.
There's some little dots on the radar. I don't know what those are. But we're just flying right past them. Alright, let's do... Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit that one dot, but I can try. So by rolling, I'm able to increase my angle of attack and thus our rate of deceleration without increasing our uh, uh, vertical speed. Oh, I'm at full RCS deflection now. So it does turn us, obviously, because that's what rolling does. Yeah, so you can uh, increase your deceleration that way. Alright, we're down to Mach 13. Still got plenty of RCS fuel, honestly. Let's do one to the other way. Actually, let's keep going the, the one way. Honestly. Four to five kilometers. Eight hundred degrees. It should be glowing ish. I guess it depends on the material. Oh, G forces. If only I had some sort of G meter to tell me that sort of thing. I guess this is a pretty, pretty resilient craft, honestly. The fact that I can just eyeball an entire re-entry and not even get very far high up along the... Uh... I still need to keep, keep going left. I want to catch one of those orange dots. Okay, shush. Oh, there is a meters per second. It's literally right there, you dummy. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Cooling down now. I don't necessarily want to dive this thing into the atmosphere, but I feel like I can at this point. basically a blackbird at this point. Alright, there's a orange dot. I still don't know what the orange dots mean. Oh! It's right there in front of us. Cool. Let's uh, pull up. Nice little cruise speed. I wish I could see below me. This thing needs a huge amount of angle of attack to maintain altitude. It's 
freaking 10 degrees? Jeebus. This is a brick. A brick with powerful engines on it. I see. Yeah, there it is. I don't know what it is, but it is there. Looks like there might be a couple landing pads, if that's what the red lights mean. Yeah, I'll go to this one. Oh, I can't, I can't translate anymore. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Okay, turn back around, let's go forward. Already something sitting there, which I don't like, but I'm still landed anyway.
Come on. Come down. Bam! Not too shabby. That was fun. I like this game. I wonder. I'm curious. Excuse me. Alright. Undock. I have full fuel. Which makes me wonder. Can I? How do I? Oh, okay, let's go. Let's go east. Okay. I wonder if I can cheat the game. I really wish I had a standard uh, attitude indicator though, not gonna lie. <coughs> All right, broke the sound barrier. Let's get up out of this thick atmosphere. I could uh, catch up to that, honestly. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna be in an easterly orbit. So if I just keep going up this way, I right, bump up the uh, throttle a bit as we leave the upper atmosphere. Awesome. Do I have Apple apps? Aww! Oh. I thought that was the game gonna kick me out. Do I have Apple apps information? There it is! Uh, Apple apps. I don't know what that number means. Did I just steal this cargo? Absolutely. Oh, Apple Apps right there. I, I'm just completely blind this entire game. Let's do a... Actually, I feel like I want to go down. Yeah. 
Let's point our nose at the ground. I want to lower our apple apps as much as possible right now. If we could get it down to like 250, that would be great. And we're almost to orbit. So the answer is yes. Yes, you can absolutely cheese the system and get to orbit. Like this. Or in the uh, in that setting. And there we go! Nice, not quite perfectly a circular orbit. We can probably fix it up with some RCS movements though. Other way. Oh right, I'm a derp. I was doing the wrong ones. Alright. And that's still going away from me, which means that, that thing's at a lower orbit than I am. What is that? Kin 188? Um, altitude 188, yeah. Oh, Kin 188. Kingleroy. The other one's going away from me, too. Yeah, so I am above all of the uh, little stations that they have. Well, that's neat. Cool. All right, with the threat, with the throttle lock, I kind of want to see, and the uh, the landing cam. I want to see how much easier it is to land this one. All right, undock. Uh, we're in VTOL mode. Thrust lock. All right. We're just gonna go s straight there. I don't think we need to go mock speed. And right, maybe we do. This thing does not like to fly below like point mock or mock point seven. Like look at this. This this is freaking stall regime right here. Alright, let's bump this up. How fast do you need to go in this thing for it to fly like a real plane? It's getting closer. Still ten degree That's an that's an insane amount of angle of attack needed to get this thing to fly. Well, you know, 
cruising at Mach 0.6 is not, or Mach 1.16, I mean, and this low in the atmosphere. It's not nothing. I actually wonder, before I land, no, I'll, I want to do the landing first. By the way. By the way, frickin' heck. bugs me that this thing defaults to like a nose down attitude. Bam! Not too shabby. Second time's a charm. Alright. I want to try something else. Is there a way to skip? Nope. Alright. Undock. Alright, let's 
see see how hot I can or how fast I can go before this plane starts to melt. Bump up the speed. Faster. Faster, I say. Freaking full throttling this thing. All right. The answer is, oh, actually the answer is right there. Full throttle, let's go! Melt! Melt for me! I don't know if I can actually melt this thing on engine power alone. I mean, that is reasonable. Okay. Let's, let's get up into the... Uh, let's try go going up to the upper atmosphere and trying it there. Is that upper atmosphere? All right, that should do. Can't accelerate too fast. All right, full throttle, let's go. thousand degrees it's yelling at me I don't know what it's yelling me about though I'm almost out of fuel. <laughs> All right, let's go as fast as we can at 60 kilometers. It's going to be Mach maybe 19. Fuel out. Almost made orbit. Alright, that was fun.
That was a lot of fun. I should see about uh, buying the game. Alright, if you haven't, thanks for watching. Take care.